Hey guys, so I'm really happy to be filming because I haven't filmed in like two weeks and that makes me really sad because I love filming. So today I'm gonna show you guys my main favorites and yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna start out with this. So one of my favorites is the Wet n Wild Blending Brush. It's really like really fluffy and durable. And what I've noticed with cheaper blending brushes that I've tried is that some of them just aren't dense enough and I feel like this one is just the perfect crease brush. This one's awesome to um, apply your transition color and to blend out colors and blend colors together and it's 99 cents and this is my second one because my first one's really dirty so I wanted to show you the clean one but this is literally like one of my favorite brushes I own at the moment. Next. We're going to talk about the foundation I've been wearing a lot, and it is the Superstay Better Skin um, Foundation by Maybelline. I wear 10 porcelain. One reason that I love this so much is that because it actually matches my skin tone. Because I am super pale, a lot of brands, their foundations, even their lightest shades, don't match me. I really like this because it matches me, and also I feel like it is um, kind of hydrating to my skin, and that's something I really need because I do have dry skin, so I really just love the color and the formula. Next is something super exciting. I absolutely love the brand Perfusion. I have um, all three of their six Studio Pro palettes, or whatever they're called, I'm not totally sure, but it's like their contour blush and highlighting palette. Um, I've tried other eyeshadow palettes by them that I enjoy, but this is by far like one of the best things I've tried. This is their Profusion Eyes Pro Eyeshadow Case in Natural. And this is what it looks like. And these matte shades are just so amazing. They feel like high-end shadows. They apply like high-end shadows. So these just are really awesome. I honestly really only like it for the matte shades, which sounds really bad, but from here, over is all matte and then there's two shimmery shades and then a white and like a beige color that I'd probably like set um, my eyeshadow base with but the shimmery colors just aren't my absolute favorite they're not super pigmented I am gonna show you guys the palette I am using on my eyes this is pretty much like the same exact palette except in smoky um, I found this at, I found both of these at one of my local grocery stores you can get it on the Profusion website. I'll link it in my description box. But yeah, this is my smoky one, and this is seriously just as good. Let's see, where am I gonna swatch? I'm gonna do what Jeffree Star does, guys, because I liked it a lot. How he like swatched on his hand, I know, am I weird? Okay, that's them. I will say that I am wearing this color, which is actually a sparkly shimmery color on my lids with something that I'll show you later on on top of it. But um, I do recommend the matte shades way more, like I like them a lot better, but I will say that some of these like darker shimmery shades, they like if you build up the color, like that's them. They actually do swatch pretty good. But the mattes are just like what blow me away. Next is something I'm super excited that I got. And it is the Kylie Lip Kit in Coco K. And yes, I am keeping it in the box. So I absolutely just love the formula of the lip liner. It's just so smooth, so pigmented. I don't usually wear lip liner, but I, want, I really want to venture out and get some nice lip liners. So if you have any lip liner recommendations, leave them below. Okay, so then I swatched the actual liquid lipstick right here, and I just think it's a really pretty um, mauve pinky color. I feel like it has, nah, it's a pretty good description, like a mauve pink. This one definitely wears for a very long time and is not very uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable on the lips, it's just like a little sticky, so you're kinda like, Mm. Oh, I do want to talk about one thing, guys. Um, the brush that comes in the Profusion palette, seriously, such an amazing blending brush. The only brush that I used on my eye today, and it's just, it fits perfectly. Absolutely love the brush that comes with the palette as well, and now I have two of them because I have two of the palettes. I'm in blending brush heaven. I'm going to talk about this really quick. It's just the e.l.f. Um, 
eyebrow kit in dark. I've just been using it all the time. I have it on today. I use it pretty much every time I do my makeup. It's one of my, you know, it is my favorite eyebrow product. And I just wanted to mention it because um, I've just been using it a lot this month. Okay, so I rediscovered this in my collection. Um, I just, you know, was searching under my sink through all my shit that I probably don't need. And I found this and I have been having really, really, really bad, um, like, areas of my skin that are so dry that they're flaking and it's just not cute so I was like okay I should really try this um all I know is that this right away when I used it my face felt like so moisturized I was like touching it it felt like nice and smooth it just felt like so hydrated and most face washes that I try um really do just kind of feel like they're stripping my skin some worse than others and then I just put a boatload of moisturizer on but this just felt like it just freaking hydrated the crap out of my skin and I love it and probably once I run out of this little sample size I will definitely repurchase the bigger size so I'm gonna go into another Wet n Wild cheap favorite right now. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Glitter Singles. This is more just a wash. Can you guys see it? See that? I just like it. Um, I just kind of dab it all over my eyelid on top of my eyeshadow and I just like how it adds some glitter, but it's not overly intense. Um, so the one I showed you first, this is bleached. This one is brass and it's like a very bronzy color. I could not open that. Look, I didn't have the little. <laughs> that is brass. I like them because I like glitter, but I don't really want it too intense. So I just kind of like the subtle glitter. Two more things. So this month I've been using my Becca Afterglow palette a lot. Yes. But for some reason, I thought this was going to be limited edition, like in the winter time. But uh, you can still get it on Ulta for like $35. Um, today I'm actually wearing, what are they? Wild Honey. And then I put some Topaz over it. And I just like how it looks on my cheeks. Wild Honey is like probably one of my favorite blushes. And hopefully I won't ever hit pan. But guys, look at Moonstone. Like that is getting down there. Moonstone and Wild Honey are ones that I will for sure, when I run out of them, buy in full size but I just like this because it has two awesome blushes that I know I would wear every day this I have used as an eyeshadow and a blush topper this one just a blush topper this one I use obviously as a highlight because it's awesome for my fair skin tone and I like to highlight my inner corners with it it's just a awesome palette that you can use for so many different things you don't just have to use them for highlights and blushes you can use them for eyeshadows um, Highlights, blush toppers, you know, I was actually thinking about using Wild Honey in my crease, so I think I might do like a fun look, test it out, see how I like it, and then maybe I'll do a tutorial. <sighs> okay guys, my phone keeps stop recording, Still, no, my phone keeps stopping recording, I don't know, before it does it again, I just want to tell you guys that my last favorite is my NYX um, Strobe of Genius palette. I'm gonna go real quick so it doesn't freaking turn off on me again. The reason I love it is because there's so many awesome colors that you can use every day. Way more unique colors. You can use them as bronze toppers. This one, blush toppers, this one. I like mixing these two together. They're universal. It's great for so many different skin tones and I just think this is such a steal for seven highlighters for only about 19 to 20 bucks depending on where you get it but yes I have been freaking loving this I just got it and right away was like this is amazing I could not recommend this enough I'm gonna try my hardest to get videos up um, every week if I can't do that I'm sorry I work and go to school full-time it's been hectic but I got some time right now so I wanted to record my May favorites and show you guys what I've been loving this month let me know what you've been loving this month and I love you so much guys leave some video requests below um, I was thinking today and I still want to do that LA color blush video so that might be one of my next ones but also let me know if that's not something you're interested in right now let me know some videos you want to see down below and I love you guys so much and I'm sorry for being inconsistent but just know that this is 
one of my favorite things to do, so I will not stop doing it, and I love you.